it's about a woman who um, is a member of a military family. She uh, has been on the outskirts of the military for quite some time and gets um, called up to go to uh, Iraq. And uh, she has a 10-year-old son, and she ca calls on her mother to take care of her child while she's away. Soldier's Heart is about, I think, how women fit into the military. Um, and it follows one particular woman's journey, um, who's a Marine and a mother, and sort of what that process is like for her, how she fits in during war in Iraq, and what her um, transition is like back to civilian life. Well, there's a lot going on in the play. Outside the fact that I want to go to Iraq and find her commanding officer and beat the crap out of him. Other than that, you know, no, there's really nothing else I want to do. I mean, first we have to deal with the fact that a lot of it takes part during a war. So I'm focusing on what is that environment like? What is that whole life physically and emotionally? Um, and also, like, what is it like to be a Marine, first of all? Um, how does a Marine talk? How do they move? How are they in civilian life versus how are they in war? As a mother, you know, and there, there, there's also that um, I want to shake her, um, Casey. Um, I want to, I want to shake her and just like tell her to snap out of it because she's in just this very dark place. We also have this whole thing about PTSD and um, sexual assault, which is like a whole other layer to explore. How does that affect someone's psyche? How does it affect um, how they feel in their body? So I usually tend to work in layers. I Well, being being a woman, um, I, I totally relate to what my daughter is is going through, and I have never been in the military. I don't come from a military family. I really, my husband knew a lot of Vietnam vets. You know, people he went to school with who were Vietnam veterans. I did not, um, so I haven't had a lot of. First hand experience with people coming back. I don't know a lot of military people. Um, I'm hoping to meet many through the production of this play. This is all this is all new to me and uh, and I'm enjoying the experience. It's always really fantastic to have the writer in the room because you have the source right there. Um, and since this is a play that's dealing with very specific uh, locales and environments and cultures, you know, she spent years researching the Marines, um, she spent years researching what it's like for women to be in the Marines, what war is like, um, all of the stuff that surrounds that. So for as much research as like an actor can do beforehand, there's still things that come up in rehearsals. So she was able to be there to answer a lot of questions and also to you know, give some insight about um, the characters. And she's also just like a really a lovely presence and uh, very encouraging and supportive. Tammy's, Tammy's work, it's, it's, it's so funny to know what she writes about and then to meet her. She's, you just wouldn't expect this material to come out of this normal looking, you know, American woman. She's very talented. Um, the first play I did of hers was Lost Boy Found at Whole Foods here at, at Premier Stages. And that was a wonderful experience. I didn't know anything about that, the true story of what those boys from Sudan traveled here and got jobs at Whole Foods. I and mean, it was just an interesting play and, and I loved my work. It's, it's very, very cool. I mean, I've really actually spent the last three and a half years doing uh, plays set before 1905, and none of them have been new. So it's cool because the characters are still in development a little bit, like Tammy is tweaking things here and there. Um, we're finding things on our feet that maybe need a, a little bit of adjustment, or I'm finding lines that don't make sense to me, so then we have to sort of clarify. 
So yeah, it, it feels like there's a little bit of a different gravity to it. And I feel like I really want to do justice to them and to, to Tammy and to the character that, that she's created and, and the story that we're trying to tell. Well, there's nothing like live theater. I mean, you can't compare it to anything. I mean, the closest, the closest I ever came was um, on the soap we used to, when we, when I first started, when I did my first soap, we used to just take the commercial breaks. We they'd count down 60 seconds, 90 seconds for the commercials, and you you filmed it as if it was a, pl a live play. Um, they moved the cameras from set to set. We filmed it as if it were live. You get instant feedback when you do live theater. You you know if you're failing terribly, and you know if you've moved someone. You know if you made you get the la if you've made people laugh, and um, it's either instant gratification or instant failure, and it's great. It's